Hey guys, just want to provide a quick update and overview of today's running session. So we start with our regular warm up of two minute jog. You can break that up however you like, whether it be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, or 30, 15, 40, 20, your choice. A couple of minutes just to get the body temperature up and uh, get your legs ready for running. Then four minutes of your own mobility, listen to your body and um, make sure that you're uh, attending to whatever your body needs for that day. So that might mean doing a little bit more work on your hamstrings or maybe your hip flexors. So listen to your body and uh, attend to those areas. Then we have five minutes of activation work. So it's more movement-based activation and uh, really get the body going and prepped for a quality running session. So inchworms to stretch out the hamstrings, spider lunge to open up the hips, cat cow to work on your thoracic mobility to help with your breathing for the session, some hip circles just to work on your hip uh, internal external rotation. And then we've got some hamstring glute activation with a glute bridge march, a scat push up, and then donkey kicks. So some posterior chain work. Then from there, some dynamic run drills. So you've got your mini band glute routine that we run through. Um, if you haven't got a mini band, you can still do those movement patterns um, without the band. And then we've got some pogos in a vertical plane. So up, up and down, working on elastic stiff ankles and pogos out in front. So jumping out in front, minimal knee bend with this one. It's all about using the ankle complex to make sure that you're stiff through your ankles and picking those big toes up. Then from there, we've got our A march, A skip and A hop. So progressing the speed of our um, running technique drills, um, really focusing on getting uh, good cadence and making sure that we're warming up our hamstrings and hip flexors for um, our short rep running for the day. Then we're going to do five 20 meter uh, sprints. So some hard accelerations, focusing on maintaining good technique over a short distance. Uh, acceleration is really important. So really use your arms, make sure you're getting good 45 degree angle with your with a forward lean. So our, our, our ankle, hips and shoulders are in that 45 degree angle and you're able to generate force into the ground and work on your quick feet. So five of those with a walk back recovery. And then from there, our session is some straight line running and an aerobic pace. So we're not doing any speed work here. And the way you want to set it up is you want to have a 60 meter cone. So you've got a start line to start with. Here's our start. Then we've got a 60 meter cone, an 80 meter cone and a hundred meter cone. And the way that we break this up, it's all about quality of running. So getting in some good quality volume around a K each repetition, where each set, sorry, um, of quality running. Yeah, so really focus on your technique. So we run to the 80 meter, we then walk through to the 100, then we run 100 meter back to the start line, then we run to the 60 meter, walk through to the 80 meter, and run back to finish off a repetition. Have a short rest period, 20 seconds or so, just to get, get recovered and feel good. And then we do that again two more times for one set. In between sets, we're having three minutes recovery. All right, so that's really important to focus on your breath. Make sure you, you're lowering your heart rate during that period. Um, so we're getting good consistency, good consistent loading, uh, and the technique's not changing too much with your rhythm of your running. All right, so another day to, we're just building in your loads, getting in your running loads in at this stage of the program. So we don't want to beat the body up too much early. We want to build into it so we can get some big sessions out over the next few weeks. So this is a great way to get in some high quality running, improve your, your running rhythm and technique uh, before we're doing the big sessions. I hope this explanation helps. Of course, guys, feel free to reach out on the Team Builder app if you have any questions. Cheers.